Yes, it is. You got it. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in on another edition of Missouri Star Live here on Facebook and YouTube. We're so excited to have Amy Barrickman with us today to share some of her expertise. But uh, as usual, we're going to see where some of you guys are watching from. So make sure you comment and let us know where you're tuning in. We have Jenny from North Carolina, Jan from Wisconsin. Oh, let's uh, see. Yeah, it's so fun, huh? Awesome. Lori from Texas. And an Amy from Fort Worth. Oh, there we go. Another Amy. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for spending a little bit we, of your time. We day got a with Canada us. here too. We have what? We have a cameraman talking as no, well. No, no. no, someone from Canada. Oh, we have someone from Canada. And I'm back just so you guys know. Awesome. I'm and sure we, you okay, miss me. We have our helpful uh, cameraman also tuning in to help answer some of your guys' questions or ask some of your questions. So thank you guys so much. Amy is here. Um, she has created this amazing line of patterns, garment patterns that have quilters in mind, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the Indigo Junction line has always focused on working with quilt cottons first and foremost. Okay. So many of our patterns offer the quilts, cottons, but we also are now showing some of the wonderful new fabrics on the market. Right particularly the rayons right, that we're going to talk so about today. so soft and wonderful. Yes, they're great. We're both wearing some rayons that are available, and um, and these are her patterns yes. as well. So very, this, Sh this is the shift dress. Shift dress, dress yep. Yes. And I am wearing Caitlin's dress, and it also comes in a top length and a tunic length. Mm -hmm. So you can w chew, you can really get three patterns in one with that. That's really awesome. And I have to say, this is the Longitude Batik from Kate Spain. Yes. I believe this is the teal floral. Teal floral, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, so we have just loved working with those Moda fabrics. And we also have Island Batiks that we're gonna be sharing with you today. Um, so it's really exciting to yeah. be able to tell people more about Rayon and get them inspired to sew. Yeah, exactly. I think it, hopefully we can alleviate some fears if you haven't tried garment sewing, um, moving from regular quilting into garment sewing because these are some really great um, simple patterns and Amy's gonna share some great tips with us. So that's the plan. That's the plan. Oh, also, before I forget, um, she has provided this great um, PDF. And if you go to the link in the post, um, in the description, there's a, a link there that'll take you to the blog post where you can go ahead and print this out for yourself. And it's got some awesome tips that she'll be sharing some of today, but this way you can refer back right. to it later. And it's got two pages in it. Keep in mind, the first page tells you the tips and techniques that yes. we're gonna go over today. And then the second page, I actually put together a line illustrations of the garment patterns that I'm showing. Oh, great. And all of these are available at Missouri Star. That's wonderful. Yeah, so, so you can see here, these are the, the tips she'll be talking about and then some of the, these great patterns that she recommends. So that's really great. Thank you so much. Sure, Amy. thank you, Misty. All right, well, I will let you get started. Okay, here we go. So rayon is a wonderful fabric to work with. It, the, it's comfortable and soft. And what we want to do is tell you a few tips because it is a little slippery when you work with yes. it too. So I'm going to start out talking about washing and then get into some of the techniques with seaming. And then maybe at the end, I'll show you some of the garments with um, patterns and give you some ideas on how do you choose the fabric for which Great. pattern. So How's with, that sound? Yeah, before you go too far, yeah. I noticed you mentioned washing. So yes. with garment sewing, do you always wash before? Well, it depends on the fabric. Okay. So with rayon batiks, my, or any rayons, my suggestion is number one, look at the manufacturer's instructions on how to wash. Okay. Um, we do always feel that with the rayon batiks, you'll want to wash them because rayon is a process where they're using wax okay. uh, to add resist to get the color to saturate the fabric okay. and doing that in layers. So you want to be able to get that wax, be sure the finish of the is off the fabric before sure. you get started. And then you're going to want to what I like to do sometimes too is before I wash it, maybe surge or zigzag the edges. So it doesn't fray. So it doesn't fray. That makes sense. And then I know, oh yeah, that fabric I've already washed. Mm. It's surged. It's in if it's in your stash and you have more and than one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so 
This I'm going to show you is a really fun, um, this is a uh, island boutique that I believe you guys will be carrying in the future. Okay. Um, and it has, um, what I'm showing here first is how you would pull a thread to get the straight of the grain before you're going to lay your pattern pieces on and cut out your okay. pattern pieces. All right, let's clear some of this oh, extra let stuff. Let me show out. one oh, thing first. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. No, this is fun. Wanted to make it's sure live. we, we could, could see. <laughs> um, yes. This is marking the right and wrong side. So I use painter's tape to mark the right and wrong side, okay. which sometimes it can be very similar. So just that's why I had that to okay. show you Great. Yeah. marking it. And then once you cut it out, you'll be sure you're sewing on and the correct. And you just mark that after you've washed it though, right? Yes, exactly. Because it, it won't go through the wash yeah. like that. Yep. Okay. And then um, what I have here is you can see here where I clipped um, a, a little took just off the salvage edge. Mm -hmm. And then what you'll find in here is a thread. And you can see where I've already started to pull that thread. Mm -hmm. And then right here, you'll see this, where that thread has been. Yeah, hopefully they can see yeah. that. Yeah, and I had another line. example of that too. Here's an even better example. Yeah. So right there, you can see where I've pulled that. And then here's where we would actually eventually cut along that to get Your the straight, straight, of, straight the grain, of the grain, perpendicular to our salvage. Okay. So that is tip, and you can feel that fabric. I know, it is it's just so soft. Beautiful to work with. Yeah, it's a really dream. beautiful finish. And speaking of that, while we're talking about working with it, um, you can just use a regular foot on your machine, or a walking foot could be, if you have okay. a walking foot, it can really um, those pull the, that fabric flu through, but it's not necessary. Okay. Um, and then when you're finishing the edges of your um, rayon batiks, that's one big um, detail that we'll want to go through. You know, some people have a serger. Sure. So if you have the serger, you'll be surging um, your edges. If not, you can just zigzag. Just a regular zigzag. Yeah. Now okay. you can either do um, a zigzag and then trim, or you can just do a wide zigzag right along the edge. Okay. And did you fold this over before you zigzag? No. Or is it just right on the edge? It's just, just right, right on, on the, the edge. edge. Okay, awesome. So, so for fun, I thought I'd show you a few other seam options on some garments I have back here. Okay. How does that sound? That we we got a question too. We got a question. Okay. Qu oh, Somebody fun. asked if this fabric would be good for PJ pants. Oh, uh, it would be fabulous. It would be heavenly yes. for PJ yes. pants. Yes. Oh, yeah. It really would. It's so soft and so mm. comfy. I think you will love it. So. Yes, and because it's like a natural, it breathes really well too. Oh, so. that's good to know, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to start out with, this is our Easy On Top, and it is in the Mai Tai print from Island Batik, another print that you'll be carrying. Um, and this is um, what I have here that I'm going to show you. Let's get it where you can see we it. Can see. This is where we've zigzagged um, the edge. Okay, and yeah. Maggie actually made this for us and she did not use the serger. So she, she zigzagged the seam there. Okay. Um, and then later we'll talk a little bit about rolling the hem, but um, that's one option. And then this is an example um, I'll show you. This is our gathered back okay. um, tunic. This is one of Jenny's favorites. Yeah, Jenny loves this one. She has um, a couple, But look, she's made. isn't that? It's so pretty, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what the seam looks like when we've actually um, it surged. surged and pressed opened. And I could run over to the iron and show you what we always like to do with um, pressing our seams before. Sure, let's okay. do it. So here I have a little swatch and what we want to do is always press on the wrong side. Um, and isn't this the cutest little mighty oh, iron? Yes. Um, and since I had a small piece, I thought, oh, I'll pull out yeah, the small I iron. Use the tiny this is the iron. Iron. It's iron. So cute. I know you guys have this too, I think. I have one personally okay. and I love it. It's so, so cute. You're gonna iron to heat up those fibers. And notice how this fabric creases very, very easily with an iron. So you wanna be really cautious. And then so you're gonna embed those fibers by first ironing on the wrong side, and then you're gonna open up. Here I go. And open up your seam and iron it. Flat, just to so, reduce the bulk. Yes, oh yeah. Yeah, and then you should have a really pretty finish there. Yeah, that's so, really great. there's a little pressing tip. Awesome. Um, so let me show you another finish that you can 
do okay. with. And it's, yes, it's yeah. related to this. So this is our warm and cozy wrap. Okay. And this is one of our most popular new patterns. And what I love about this is you'll see on the cover of the pattern, we have actually flannel that we're showing. I think I have it right here. Let's see. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Um, but here in cool, in warm weather, to mm -hmm. do it in a rayon for summer, isn't this fabulous? Yeah, it would be so wonderful. Again, I think this is called Navy Medallions mm -hmm. from Kate Spain, um, from Oda. And what we have here on this is a rolled hem edge. Okay. And this can be done either with a um, serger or it can be done on a traditional machine too. So that's another option for seaming. Great. While we're over there, do you want to show them this one too? Yes, let's do it. Um, does that work? We have one more question. Okay. So okay. they're asking if, do we hem or just zigzag on our raw edges on rayon? Well, it depends on where that edge is. So if it's a finished edge that's going to be exposed, you would roll it or hem it. Like you finished. You right. Doing like we're going to show here. Um, if it's just the interior seams, you can leave them raw with the surged or raw with the um, zigzag. Okay. So, Great. Um, so this la this tank I love. Oh, one more. One more oh. Okay, someone, so we'll, we'll repeat it because they maybe can't hear okay. Cheyenne. So someone asked if the bamboo fabric is the same or similar to rayon, so. Well, it, as far as I know, it is, bamboo is a little different than the oh, rayon. Okay. Um, but that makes me want to learn more about yeah. bamboo fabric. Yeah, test it so out. So I'll have to check it out. Awesome, that sounds great. See what I can learn. So then this is your tank. Yes, and this is the turnaround tank. Yes. And by the way, Janet made these samples and she did an incredible she did such job. such a great job. Isn't that so cute with the little detail in the back? Well, so. and the fun thing about this is that you can wear the detail in the front in the or front the back. If you want to. Yeah. yeah. And it does have a ruffled version too, but I think Very in batik, cute. I really like the lace up version for yes. a little more. And that is the magenta medallion if you're interested in that yeah. fabric. Isn't it beautiful? It's, the colors are just really, so really pretty. awesome. All right. Awesome. So let's see. I'm going to show you one more seam finish back to the warm and cozy wrap. Remember okay. I mentioned that quick? Yes. So here's another seam finish. I'll put it down here in the, take out our hanger. Mm -hmm. So at the back neck of the warm and cozy wrap, we have, um, what we have here is a, um, what we've done is we've done like a, essentially a French seam and then stitched it down so it looks okay. like a flat felled seam. And a flat felled seam is what the side of your jeans. Sure. I always think of that's how you oh, explain what, what a flat felled seam yeah. is. So I know we've also used that seam. I'll show you another if I could hand that yeah, to you. Yeah, absolutely. You want me to hang it back up? Misty? That's, um, that's, sure. That's, okay. that's actually what a couple of people are asking if a French seam would work. So I'll show this garment and it'll help give a little more of an example okay. of what that is. Um, this one might be sewn down as well, but really what you're doing with a French seam um, is you're encasing the seam allowance. Right. And so there's then, no raw edges. Right. And then on this one, again, is an example of where we've stitched down that um, that French seam and then we laid it and stitched it down. So that's the instruction on the, and this is a fun pattern that I love for the batik. It's our everyday tank mm -hmm. and it just has really nice coverage on the arm and mm -hmm. shoulder and it really fits nicely. Um, a lot of yeah, different it's, it's shapes and sizes cute. of people. Very yeah. Cute. We had and a question of where the patterns are available. Um, so, so if you go to that link in the post that will take you to our blog, there is a link in that blog post that um, says where you can buy all of Amy's wonderful patterns that she's showing you today. So. Yes, we have, <laughs> we have many to share. Yeah, lots to share. So um, many great everyday items that are, are comfortable and, and good for all, right. all shapes and sizes. Yep. So, yeah. Well, in fact, I'll show you an example of one that I think is one of our favorites when it comes to a shirt style. Okay. And this is the button back shirt. Um, and what we have here is, I'm just, it's so much fun because you can use your button stash uh -huh. and, and maybe showcase it a little. So on this design, this is the Twilight Garden, I believe, mm -hmm. that you have online. This fabric is online. Yes. Um, and this is the, oops, and I knew she'd kind of, she changes her height on me. Uh -huh. But this is, and this has a little cuffed sleeve. Oh, very cute. Yeah. So this is a, the button back shirt pattern. 
and it does have something that is another tip that's on our sheet. It has interfacing. So you'll see on certain patterns, collars, necklines, you'll want to use interfacing. In fact, Misty, you're wearing, yes, there is an interfacing, interfacing inside here. Right. So the types of interfacing we like to use are non-woven, usually woven or non-woven. Fusible we use sometimes. Okay. I'll show you a quick tip for fusible. All How right, that, that sounds great. So with- They, they want to know the name of the pattern company. Indigo, Indigo Junction. Indigo Junction, yes. Yes. There it is. Right there. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, we, have, we have lots of fun patterns. She does. She has and fun patterns. Um, this is an interfacing is just one of those components that's very, people have a lot of questions, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay. We like to, if we're going to use fusible interfacing, we like to put it on the facings, not the actual garment exterior what does that fabric. Mean? Well, this is a facing okay. that is the facing that we would put in the ne neckline of the easy on top or tunic. So it's just a rounded or neckline so like this. So that's what's inside right. that's giving it extra stability, right? Right, right. inner facing. Okay, yep. but, but when you say facing, does that mean? The facing then is the actual piece that you have on the inside right here. Okay, okay. Does that, I'm and learning. sometimes we have facings and sometimes, sometimes we don't, don't because my garment, I don't have you a don't facing. Have one. Okay. We did a finished um, bias on Neckline that. Neckline on yeah. that one. Okay. And we do, I mean, we have instructional tutorials on how to do that kind of a finish because it is, you want to actually press mm -hmm. your bias if you're doing a, a curved edge without a facing. Sure. Okay. But with a facing, using the fusible, this is a non-woven, I think it's from Bozal, um, and we pink the edge. Um, on our non-stitched edge of our um, facing and the fusible. So then you'll get a transition. So when you look on it from the, you know, it just gives you a transitional um, area. So you don't have that edge of that gummy fusible at the very mm -hmm. edge of your fabric. It just so kind of overlaps and covers right, that up. That right. makes sense. And then, and let's look, somebody had asked about hemming too. So you want okay, me to look, yeah. show you about that yeah, piece we can, too? Yeah, we can jump back to that. Um, so this is showing where we took a surged edge um, of the, say the bottom of a curved hem and we surged it and then we pressed it. And then what I'm showing you, so this is kind of step one pressed back here, over here you'll have where then we actually ran a basting stitch okay. by hand. So we sh were sure we pressed and basted it by hand, so when we eventually put in our actual seam that was going to be shown, say, on the front of the garment, it we'd get a really nice finish, no puckers. Okay. Um, so keep in mind, base, basting can be really helpful. And I'll say too, you know, if you're new to garment sewing and trying in one of our patterns, we do have sizing charts to help you figure out which size. We even give you sometimes the finished garment size. Uh -huh. But one idea is to actually make like a muslin test garment just to be sure you've got the fit you want before right. you cut your beautiful, your beautiful fabric, your beautiful rayons. Um, and one other pins, that's another tip that's, um, I don't want to forget to talk about. Okay. I, very fine, thin pins work well for the, the batiks okay. and be sure to pin in excess because again, this fabric is somewhat slippery yeah, when you're, you're working with it. Yeah, you're gonna have a little it. bit more movement than so, your standard quilter spin, yeah. for sure. So these are a couple. Here's some um, of the patchwork pins that were fine pins. And these are and extra glass fine. Head. Love glass head pins mm -hmm. because you can iron over those. Right, yep. um, We have so, another question. Okay. They wanna know if they could use linen and what other materials could they use for the patterns? Okay, so we had a question about other materials that could be used. So, well, so <laughs> you wanna dive in? Sure. <laughs> we sew up our, our patterns in a variety of fabrics. We have knits, rayons, linens, lawn, gauze. You guys have some great gauzes. Yeah. Um, cotton and steel is one that we love to work with, moda. Um, there's so many great fabrics on the market today that I feel like that's part of why we've had so much fun and success with our garment patterns is mm -hmm. there's just beautiful fabrics beautiful, out there. High so, quality fabrics yeah. to choose from. It's true, yeah. Well, I could show you a few more of the garments we've made in rayons okay. and talk about maybe those for a minute. Sure, that okay. sounds good. Um, so I mentioned the everyday tank. Here it is in a magenta. 
Um, this is a batik. Um, and you'll see just sometimes what I find is working with a more solid batik, mm -hmm. you, can, or you can definitely move into some of the um, patterns such as this, which is, this is the batik oh, yeah, the that you're wearing. wearing. But look how different <laughs> yeah, they look. It looks totally different. But in my mind, I would use, I'm gonna take this and show you, like for instance, I wouldn't necessarily maybe do the full dress in such a, you know, complicated print where I like the simplicity that right. in when I'm when we're doing dresses. Yeah. Um, then I'll finish. We'll fix that. Um, this again is another example of that warm and cozy wrap we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, that is there to your left. The gathered back. Let's go into a couple that I haven't shared. Okay. This is one that really showcases surging. And this is called the Modern Medley Top and Tunic. And again, look, it's the Twilight Garden yeah. from Island Batik. Um, so you can see on this one, we actually use the surging as a design element in the garment. Yeah. And you can see we either layered the, essentially a facing that's on the outside mm -hmm. of the garment um, and just surged along the edge. And then here's an example where we actually seamed it, but we just left the exposed seam versus layering it, and that's yeah. seaming it together. Yeah. But this this actually has been a pattern that, you know we've been in business for 27 a years, long Misty. Time, yes. <laughs> and this was a pattern that was out um, years ago that we've re, um, re-released because it's been so popular. That's great. And um, just a timeless, and it comes in a short style too. That's great. So that's the modern medley. We got a few questions. Here. Okay. Okay. Asked if it wrinkles like crazy, and then another person mm. asked if uh, you could explain the washing instructions for rayon. Okay. Does it wrinkle? Um, yes, it wrinkles, but it, um, especially like right after you washed it. But usually, what I do is shake it out mm -hmm. and then hang it to dry. And once it's ironed, I don't have as much of a, I mean, I, well, I don't have the, I wore a different shirt here, but the same pattern. Yes. And I was going to say, well, I had my seatbelt on yeah. and, um, but it, it really looks great when I got out of the car. Yeah, so it's not like linen where you're going to, you're going to get more wrinkles all day right. long. Right. It's not like that. It's pretty forgiving once it's been pressed into place. I right. think that's but the way do, I feel. It does take a little bit of maintenance. Um, time. Right after but, but you so wash it. But so quilter's cotton. So if you yeah. make a garment with quilter's cotton, you're going to run into the exact yeah. same thing. I'd say it's really similar. Yeah, it's not excessive. No. Um, and when you wash it, I would wash it on the cold and in a gentle cycle, um, gentle detergent. And mm -hmm. then um, you can tumble drive low with a lot of the manufacturers recommend that. But I always, again, emphasize go online and read what the manufacturer says yeah, as to how to, to care for the fabric. Yeah, be because safe. I was so sad. I had a beautiful rayon top that I loved and I'm sure it was not super high quality, but I'm very tall and I dried it and I got to wear it that one time and that was it. <laughs> it was a little <laughs> short. It was really short. So, so yeah, yeah, make sure you check. That can we happen. We also had a question about the yardage. If you can find the yardage amount on the on the uh, pattern description Yes. to buy them at the same time. Well, and this is a good example. Here are two different examples of the backs of our patterns. Sometimes we have a color picture that shows you another um, version of a garment, but we try to get the, in the information on the back cover. And um, I know that's actually, I think, posted on um, your website and our website. You can go see. That should um, be if you click through the pictures to right. see. And this one, um, gives you more versions. Sometimes we'll say, you know, see enclosed list for notions and additional fabric requirements. Mm -hmm. But the that we do try to, to have make there. that as apparent for people. We, and that's we, what's the beauty is with your phone. If you're at a fabric store and you see right. fabric, you can look it up. There's all um, kinds of questions. We're getting tons of them. So oh, they want to know how through. large your sizing is and if the patterns are good for beginners. That, those are two of the best questions yeah, ever. Yes, so glad you asked. <laughs> yes, I am, because I did not want to forget to tell you that. Yeah. So our sizes go from, most of our new patterns go from extra small to 3X. Okay. And um, as far as, what was the other question, Jake? I got so excited, oh, I, forgot I forgot the other. Oh, I forgot too. The what? Really good for beginners. Oh, yes. beginners. Okay, so that 
we say that Indigo Junction is good for all ages and stages of quilters and sewers. Okay. So we um, always, like, we don't have buttonholes. We don't usually have zippers. Once in a while we do. Yeah. Like, we have a pant pattern that would be great in this rayon that you carry, and it has just a nice elastic waist. Oh, awesome. So Very cool. keep that in mind. And they Some, have somebody pockets also. in their dress. I feel like oh, I that's a sh a, yes. Wait, I lost it. Just need to point it out. P pockets. Yes, everybody likes pockets in their dresses. <laughs> Somebody it's, also asked if there was if there's stretch if there's a little bit of stretch to the uh, rayon. No, not unless it's on the bias. Yeah. So um, it's just super comfortable. And honestly, most of our garment patterns, we design them for woven. Like I said, quilt cottons first and foremost. So they're gonna they're gonna be fine. You aren't gonna need that stretch to be comfortable in in our patterns. Yeah, they're um, they're usually. I mean, they're not super fitted. They're more mm -mm. more forgiving, still flattering to the to your figure, but most of them are um, not super fitted. Well, and that brings up a point. So okay. <laughs> I'm wearing the Caitlin's dress top right. and tunic, but we actually have a drawstring um, that we is an option for this it. pattern so i'll tie it there but yeah. so what you can do is with this top you can cinch it in so you do get a little more of a silhouette that's so cute i love that one yeah so, so some of our patterns offer that option um too like we have a vest pattern that's called the um easy silhouette vest but i love is this not a it's fun really cute. especially since we're well i'm from kansas i'm over there but <laughs> reminded me kind of of the sunflower but yes. um probably a daisy so one more pattern i'll share if that's okay because it's one of my favorites I think we're doing okay on time so okay yeah, let's do it perfect so this is the asymmetrical top and tunic oh that's great let's make sure they can see this yes cute. comes across at an angle in case really you can't see. flattering um style and just nice coverage and so we, many of our top patterns have two lengths in them okay. so whether you're short-waisted or taller you'll be able to have a couple lengths in the like so everyday both tank. Of us. Same yes, pattern, exactly. It will yes. fit both of us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Great. And I like to tell people too, like for this top or the easy on top, you can always put like a real thin t shirt long sleeve uh -huh. underneath if you want arm coverage. Because yeah. I don't sometimes I like to yeah. have more coverage when Absolutely. it comes to my arms too. So that is the asymmetrical top. And fun. yes, yes, we've we, just, we have a question from, question? yeah, they're, they're saying that the, uh, they're wondering what on the back of the, of the, uh, pattern, mm -hmm. what is the ease? The ease. Well, what we do, they'll, what they'll do is they'll look at our chart and the chart, let's see on this pattern. Here's, here we go. So on this one, oh, oh yeah, towards so, yourself. Okay. There we go. On this one, you'll see that we have the chart listed. So we, every pattern is a little different on what we recommend for ease. So most of the patterns will give you the ease. Usually it's two to three inches that we, um, but we are really specific on our measurements on the patterns. Like okay. I said, we do give you the finished garment si size. So then you can decide, well, I want I want it a little more fitted or I really want this to be kind of oversized and more comfortable. Mm -hmm. the one in particular is like the everyday tank. Some people, that's this one. Um, right, that was that. Yeah. Magenta. Well, and I'm going to show it. In, I haven't shown it in this fabric. It's so striking. Um, so here, and notice this is the longer this is the length. long version, yeah. So this is the tank and the dragonfly, again, from, I believe it's Island Boutique. Um, but this is one where somebody might want it a little more fitted or somebody else might want it a little sure. less fitted. And this one, you, people will ask, are there darts? But the beauty of this pattern is the actual um, fit comes through the... The gathers in the... Yeah, the pleats that you put here in the neckline. That's so, um, but, yeah, isn't that a fun... I mean, with good. summer coming, yeah, I'm really so good. ready for... So we're, so we're about to wrap up, but if you want to grab your phone, Misty, there's a bunch of just questions. Okay, if you can, like, we'll do maybe see. a rapid fire question. Oh, that sounds like an answer. Day. Okay, <laughs> let's see. If you can go back and watch the video, we'll post it to our Facebook page after. Yes, you can always go back and watch these live videos um, from the beginning when we wrap up here. Um, in just a few minutes after that, it will be posted live um, and we'll, I mean, posted forever for you to watch <laughs> so you can, you can see it. So if you missed the beginning, don't fret. You can go back and catch it. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, you mentioned that you have some videos earlier. They can watch that at... Uh, Indigo Junction's YouTube channel. Yes, so if you search Indigo Junction on YouTube, you can see some more videos that uh, Amy has put together. And I did another live video with you oh, guys. Yes. And she also did another uh, another live video with us in the past on her Fabriflare project, which right, is really, right. really fun. So let's see. What was the name of Jenny's favorite top? The one with the pleated oh, back. That is the gathered back. The gathered back. Top and tunic. So that's another one. I'll show it one more time. Yes. That's another one that has several lengths, two lengths in it. Yes. So you can either do a shorter length or the longer length for the tunic it's length. It's so cute. And I love the little back detail. Mm -hmm. Jenny has quite a few of these that she wears mm -hmm. that she's made for herself. Okay. I think we got that one. Let me see. Yeah, somebody asked one more time how large the patterns go. 3X. Up to 3X. Up to 3X. In the X. Patterns. Yep. We and love that there's no buttons or zippers. Yes. It's so great. We so. use those, sometimes we use those giant snaps. So if we do need a closure, like on a jacket, we'll use the snaps and then just put a button on the outside on of the, the garment. Of yeah. yeah that's so that's a well, little awesome. trick. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Oh, Amy. this was so this much was fun. So yes, I really enjoyed having you. And, and we appreciate you guys spending a little bit of your Tuesdays with us thank and, you uh, we'll see you next week have a well, great and day i just want to remind you if we didn't get to your questions oh, we're yes. going to be answering questions in the comments and we will try to get to them if we can but yeah it was great thanks yeah. jake yes yes <laughs> we will get to your questions we promise if we didn't catch them live we'll come back and get them um later on so yep. have an awesome day